Yuji versus Mahito. So, the fight we've been waiting for. Landscape page, use a pencil eraser, or hit pause. If I go too fast, I'm going to start with Yuji over on the right-hand side. He's in profile. Mahito's kind of three-quarter. So, we'll start with Yuji. It's easier. So, we go an L shape. Curving out. Pretty pointy nose, right? Kind of this L going on, right? L or upside down seven or like a scythe. <laughs> so then his nostril just there. So at the top, he's like frowning, right? So he's got like this sort of wrinkly, sort of bumpy situation coming out that way. And then this is where his brow is, right? So his eyebrow comes out from there and his eyebrow is kind of short. It just goes like that way. Make another frown line there. And his eye just below. So yeah, here. So we go diagonal across. And then like thicken it up and add like some eyelashes at the front a little bit like spikes kind of coming off. And a bit of an eyelid line there. So his bottom eyelid line, eyes are pretty wide, just sort of curving around this way. They don't draw in the whole lot. They just kind of stop it here. And then you've got like some more sort of wrinkles and stuff around his eye. And then his pupil just sort of looking up at the Mahito up there, his iris. You can't really see a pupil, it's just like that. And then we have that mark on his cheek. Like so. So then his mouth, right? So it kind of like curves down a bit, right? The mouth's semi-open, right? But his top lip and his bottom lip form this kind of L shape, or M, letter M. So it comes out, oops, out again, and back in, right? So see, it's like an M, like that. And then the chin will come down from here. It's kind of square. So the line for his lips sort of, so he's doing this like, kind of like open mouth, semi-open, right? So we go like down this way first. So it looks closed, but then to open it up, right, we'll just bring a line across the top of it this way and down the back. Right, and then his brow, sort of a frown line and the rest of his forehead goes that way so his jaw go back that way and up and then it goes up to his ear so it like curves around but there's a little gap between those lines and then we meet his ear here And it goes, yeah, it kind of bumps around sort of here. Like that. And then this becomes his sideburn. Now, if I go too fast, hit hit that pause button. Right, kind of square sideburn. Just goes up this way. And some hatching on the bottom. We also have like a vein on his forehead. And they kind of draw it like like that kind of a thing and there's all these scratches on his face okay so then his hair so he's got like two layers of his hair you got the pink layer and then the gray sort of shaved layer on the side so we'll do the pink layer kind of first so it kind of starts here you just get all these spikes curving down they kind of look like shark fins just these curvy just do a curve line and then a curve line back that way curve line back up and you can do it like 
you know your own sort of style if you want to you know it doesn't have to be exactly like mine and this like runs down to the back of his head down here as well and he has lines in his ear as well I forgot them let me go back and do them Right, and then the back of his head, sort of here, you know, like hairline at the back of the neck, and then those lines inside his ear. So you, the easiest way is like a letter J, just kind of like that, and then you can make some more if you want. That's all they really do. It looks like in the show. So then the rest of the hair going around the top of the head all the way around the back. So keep going. So we just spikes of different shapes and sizes. All the way around. And then we'll add some kind of just in here, kind of stick it up a little bit, just to give it some texture on the inside. Bam, 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 bam. Right, and neck sort of comes down the back. Adam's apple section of the neck at the front comes down that way. And then you have it like a neck muscle there. We do an extra line here for some reason. So we'll add it. And then his collar. So kind of like bumps down the front here first. And then starts to travel back this way. Around his neck. And then the front of it, we've got another section here goes up underneath his chin. Then we have the buttons. Come this way. And then a button here. Going that way. And then the rest of this collar kind of just bumps up around the back of his head up here. And little bumps. It's kind of ripped or torn here at the back. It just goes on the back of his head then and then you'll have like some four lines and then And then the collar comes out around his chin on the other side here. It's kind of ripped and torn there on that side as well. There's sort of fold or tear in there. Right, and then this sort of bumps down this way. Folds of his clothing. It's like his shoulder going that way. There should be like some more sort of folds here. And then his shoulder goes that way. Can't see any more lines there, but he should be. Well, they're not drawn in, but 
So I'm gonna go that way for one, and then that way, just for folds of his clothing. Okay, so, Mahito. And of course you can add, we'll add some like, you know, black flash kind of lightning energy and all that kind of good stuff. So, Mahito, higher up, right? So he's looking up at him, up at his face. And we're in like a three quarter pose. So we'll go for his nose, right? And we'll do this kind of, it's like a cross from Yuji's forehead. And it's kind of smaller and spikier. So it's like a kind of an arrow pointing that way. And the nostril will be here. Okay. And like his hair comes all down past the face, so. Do, do, do. Yes, you can't really see. So we, we'll do in like, so his other eye, so it's like up from this, right? So we're gonna go here and we'll curve it this way. These really big eyelash eyes. Right, there's all like eyelashes coming up from here. Right, and then the bottom of that curves around there. And then the iris kind of looking, you want it to be looking down, right? So it's coming up from the bottom eyelid line and then pupil there. And then we have an eyelid line just on top. Probably some like eyelashes here as well, but they're not drawn in, but I'll draw them in just to give it a bit more detail. His other eye is like down here. You can barely see it, right? So it's like curving this way. And we got like all these eyelashes kind of sticking up here. And then the bottom eyelid line just curves around here. Just so he joins the corner there. Like so. Right, and then we have like his eyebrow just on top. And then it looks like they draw in his like eyelid line there. And then another one coming over the top this way and that way. And then his cheek comes down that way. Right, so he's like looking that way. Can't see his other eyebrow that much because of the hair, so I, I won't draw it in yet. We'll go for his mouth. His mouth is huge. So it goes like this way, flat across there, from eye to eye, all the way. And then it comes down the back. Like it's, it's crazy. It's crazy big, like he's enjoying himself. front of it, down this way. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, like a cheek or something there. He's loads of scars on his face, but we'll just get the main parts in first. And then like a bottom lip line, right? So then like they draw in like nearly all the teeth. So we got like a square. Then another one, another one. You're just going the whole way across here now. These big square teeth. And then this comes down that way on the bottom. Big square teeth as well. Like cartoon big square teeth. He's like a One Piece character. <laughs> and then like his tongue is here, so it like bumps real big. Down. 
there and then rollers at the back in there and it's just like dark red or something back there usually you'd see it like a black hole you could do it if you want to but can't see one they just do it red like really black at the back so then his chin comes out there and we go for the jaw that way and then this turns a corner and goes up to his ear other face other face other side of his face is different right so it just like follows the cheek goes out to the eye and then like a stretchy skin line there and then one we can see of his ear underneath his hair sort of in there and there's a sideburn little v here so the rest of them we got like loads of hair and fringe right so comes all the way across his face here so we'll go boom just be brave ah that way it's always hard to do things like that and then a few little spikes here and then this curves back up sort of around his eye and you'll have some like textures in here right and then again another one going that way a few little spikes off the end and then back up around Just keep adding these. So it's like the wind is like blowing the hair all back this way, like across his head. head then so it's kind of just like bumps around his head up here and goes around the front so all this hair up the front here And it goes down behind his face that way. And then we got like his forehead sort of here. A bit more sort of texture lines inside there. Do, 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 do. All right, so then I can add sort of his eyebrows sort of here. Maybe an eyelid line that way. And then all those scars on the face. There's more hair, obviously. He's real long hair, but we'll just get sort of some of those scars in. So first, so it comes down from his eye, right? And they join together. And they go down across this way. And we have stitching that crosses over the line there and 
there and then another one going up his eye and his eyebrow probably crosses the eyebrow actually goes behind the hair up there and one comes across the nose and then down his cheek on the other side with some like cross stitches and then don't forget the ear lines in here Okay, so his neck is real long, it's kind of stretched out, right? Goes this way, curves out. And then the front comes all the way from his face, kind of here. And then another neck muscle there, here. Kind of an Adam's apple line that way, like that. And then his trapezius down this way. And that way and then his clothing so it comes around the front kind of bumps up here across his collar it just goes around the back and then this comes down he's got like a sleeveless thing on and this will go down sort of off the page that way and then just it goes that way and right so it's kind of like sleeveless but so the shoulder bumps kind of here and then we meet another part of this and it's like it was that like that another piece of clothing there and then he has like checkered patterns sort of and they're kind of like they're done in white because his clothing's dark but they just like Add them like this, maybe. Right, so then the rest of his hair, so we'll just go. Yeah, we'll just like bring it down a little long here. That way, and then the the real long part seems to just curve down here. It's got like all just texture lines and everything just flowing down this way. So that's just all like hair here. And then we got another stitch on his neck, another scar or stitching thing. Right, and then the line just comes across here. Like that, right? And then of course you can add sort of all this black sort of energy lines and stuff on UG or there's all these circles of sort of black with red around them here and you can kind of add as much of that as you'd like maybe a big black lightning here but that's it Mahito versus UG Itador UG hope it's helpful thanks for watching see you in the next one bye